Hey, good morning, everyone. Well, we're here on the backwaters of the Mississippi River, just out of La Crosse, Wisconsin. We're fishing with Mike McCormick from Mike McCormick's Guide Service today. It's getting to the spring of the year, although you wouldn't know it by looking at the weather day. It's still pretty cold for early March, and there's a lot of ice. Now, what this area is famous for is jumbo perch. And typically what happens in the spring, these jumbo perch move into the backwaters and they put the feed bag on. So let's see if we can find some of these big perch here on the Mississippi River today in La Crosse, Wisconsin. There's one, well, a little nicer one. I switched to a tungsten too with a, tipped with a plastic and a spike. Fishing at three feet of water, four feet of water, five feet of water, sometimes the, the just the noise of the crusty snow if you walk around too much, we'll spook that, spook the perch school off too. But today we got real frozen hard ice that makes a lot of noise too. If you walk around too much, you'll kick the school of fish away from you. I'm gonna fish turning red again. I like that one. <laughs> Is that at the same time, I think. <laughs> I like those kind of fish. Nice fish, Mike. Yeah. The little ones, they whack at the big ones they look at. Don't they though? Yeah, that's exactly what we're seeing, yep. It's funny because it must be a school that moves in because when they move in, all of a sudden the... They all move in. That's right, the Markham just fills up with fish and yeah. then all of a sudden they're gone. So what do you find, you know, this time of year, do you see them come through typically in schools or are they typically in these backwaters during this time of year as they're staging up for the spawn? They literally school up pretty heavy in here and the school is just, I think, that big that you don't really have to move around too much. You'll find out that one hole's better than another. You know, a lot of the stuff that we go check out is a lot to do with what happened the year before or where we found a school of fish. This spot here, we got a bunch of shallow water, and a bunch of weeds that the weeds die off and the oxygen gets depleted and it pushes them out into a out here closer to the current edges. That's why we're fishing where we're at today. The little bluegills and everything are in the hole, in, right in your fishing hole because they're they're out here looking for the oxygen too. Sure. And that's a lot of what the perch are feeding on. They like one inch bluegills. They do. They love them. <laughs> You'll see them, they'll have a three inch largemouth bass hanging out of their mouth <laughs> that they've gobbled up. The perch are always finding something to eat. Right. There we go. A little better fish. I love it when they splay out like that. Just pretty perch. Big bale on. Yeah. Well, it's been kind of slow here for about the last 15, 20 minutes. And I was just commenting that I hadn't had a fish on the graph for a while, and all of a sudden it just lit up. So we'll see what else is down there. So I grew up in the lacrosse area, fishing 
uh, Lake Onalaska and some of the other backwater stuff that you could walk out to uh, as a kid. And as I got older, I always wanted an airboat to get out to the spots that you could never get to with a ATV or snowmobile or something. So I, I bought my first airboat probably four or five years ago. I was guiding and I thought, you know, that airboat would really be a handy tool for getting everybody out to the spots that nobody ever gets to. And I bought my first airboat and guided out of that for a little bit and then I kept getting bigger and bigger ones. And now I can get four people uh, in all the gear on one boat and get out. Everybody can get out there and have a good time where nobody else is. Got him. <laughs> wrapped up in my transducer cord here. Ooh, right back to back, huh? Sometimes when the big school's down there, I don't like to throw them back. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. There's like three of them on the screen the whole time. They're just gonna race it right back up. You know, that's true in this shallow of a water, when you release a fish there, it makes a difference, doesn't it? I think he's good at it. <laughs> you know, this is the type of perch fishing when it really does get fun. Doesn't he get a school come in and they just start hitting one right after the other? I had my neighbor guy out one year, the what last year. It was 20 minutes and I had I had my limit and he was getting this tip down set up or whatever. And I was like you gonna put that down? Just, you just do with some jigging. <laughs> I know he seen me catching fish, and was like, oh. must be holding on to that end of that plastic. We're in March now. Ice is gonna go out in the next three to four weeks, but we'll be running the airboat until we can't stay on the ice. Then we're gonna go switch, and we'll be fishing open water. And as our season starts out, we'll be perch fishing. We get into May, and I'm gonna be traveling as a professional tournament fisherman. I'll be fishing the National Walleye Tour and some of the other walleye tournaments over the countryside. In between tournaments, I'll be guiding on the river here also. Uh, walleyes, uh, crappies, bluegills, perch, northerns, uh, largemouth bass. In the fall, we'll have a one championship for the National Walleye Tour, and I'm. And in October, I'll be fishing the National Walleye Championship, which will be on Lake Winnebago this year. There's so much water here that doesn't get fished that all our fish seem to get very healthy. River fish always have plenty of food to eat. So we grow them big here. It's just, you just gotta stop and check it out. Is it amazing when you know, just that little bit of temperature change. You know, we could feel it warm up a little bit this afternoon. We've got our gloves off now, and you know, the looks like the sun wants to come out. And it's changed the whole attitude of the fish, hasn't it? Yeah, come up, race right up, and grab it. Marking a few here. Oh, there's one. Oh, this one's got some weight to it. Oh, look at the size of that. That's a big Mississippi perch there. This female here is probably 14, 14 and a half maybe. Probably a two pound perch. That's what everybody's looking for, a trophy. Two pound perch, the, we got them here. We want to let her go back and go do her spawn. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Ice Force by Rapala and Strike Master.
Hey everyone, welcome back. Now before we left you for the break, we were ice fishing the backwaters of the Mississippi River for jumbo perch with Mike McCormick, who calls the La Crosse area of Wisconsin home. Well, it's day two of the trip, and Outdoor Bound TV pro Anna joins us for some incredible Mississippi River backwater perch action through the ice. Good perch back here in this bay off the channel. They come and roam through here and feed, get out of the current, rest a little bit in here, and they meander back. So all day long they're coming in and out of here all day long. So we're gonna fish some spoons, tipped with some spikes, and see what we can get going. Great, great. Hope we'll catch them when they're hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, these fish are really adhering to the bottom and then they're just kind of zipping up to check out my bait. And right now I just have a little um, VMC tungsten jig on and just a little um, plastic as well. So they seem to be, they seem to be quite curious by it. A lot of the times when you're fishing the Mississippi, your access points from where you want to fish are on the wrong side of the, on the wrong side of the channel of the river so what we have to do is put the airboats in on one side cross the main channel of the river to get to the backwaters that we want to fish so a lot of it you cannot access by walking or taking an ATV so I use an airboat that way we can go through open water thin ice um, there's no restrictions on holding us back that way Stuck under the ice. Nice one. Look at that guy. Oh, they're fat. So the bite's been pretty tough today. Uh, we are after a storm front, so it's been pretty slow. So I just switched it up to a VMC probe jig, and it seems to be just enough downsizing that uh, it triggered this guy to bite. So hopefully we get a few more, even though the bite's a little bit negative today. Beautiful fish. Down you go. Maybe a little nicer one here. Maybe a little bit. Uh, another average, nice male. River system's got a nice, a lot of nice male eaters in it. People looking to come out, get something to take home with you. We're fishing with. The a spoon with some spikes on it. There we go. So we are fishing in probably about 10 feet of water in this little inlet bay right off the Mississippi and we have some fantastic jumbo perch. They're just cruising through here. I would say every five minutes there's a nice little pod that swings through and uh, yeah they are finally just kind of turning on so 
hopefully we uh, maybe even get some master anglers in. That'd be my hope. Beautiful. Yeah, this guy came cruising off the bottom. He just swung right up there. Perfect little eater size. Oh, they're pretty. On the Mississippi River here, we're fishing boundary waters. So you can either use a Wisconsin fishing license or a Minnesota fishing license. Uh, we have a bag limit on the perch on the on the boundary waters of the Mississippi of 25 per person. So we got some of the biggest bag limits in Wisconsin for uh, taking perch home to eat. A lot of the average eaters are in between that 10 to 12 inch range. into another nice one. The bite has slowed down a little bit, but we still have a couple more coming in and looks like another nice jumbo. We're kind of getting a mixed bag of different sizes. So this one's on a little bit of a smaller size, but uh, still having a blast and getting to catch some of these. And... All right, I think this one's just on the small side, so I might send him back. Another one. A lot of eaters moved in here today. Not so much the jumbos, but normally if uh, we got the warmer weather in February, it'll bring out the big females, put the feed bag on for them. We'll start to see some 14, 15 inch perch. Um, you know, we'll see a lot of the 11, 12, 13, 14 inchers. Not so much of these eight, nine inches, but the first warm up in February is when it really kicks the, these perch into high gear and get them up and feeding. Today we got an east wind, kind of slowed the bite a little bit, but they're still about eight. Over the last 15 years, the perch have really, uh, huge numbers of perch have been coming through the system. They have a really good spawn success rate and uh, in the last 15 years, they've, the numbers of perch have just quadrupled every three, four years. Now you're starting to see schools of perch where there's four or 5,000 of them in a, in a little area where you can drop your bait down one right after another all day long. And they, will, they make a migration like a walleye does. It comes up to the north part of the pool of water, do their spawn, there's there's a migration route that they follow, and as long as you're on that route, sometime through that day, you're gonna get the filter of fish going north and south. The big thing is what we're looking for is if you can get a warm up or something where that really triggers that bite for the bigger fish to really turn out on a prowl and go out and find some kind of food, that's, that's ideal conditions on the Mississippi. Today we got a little cold front been through all weekend and now we got some snow coming again tonight. So hopefully this afternoon, maybe they turn on. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Otter and PK Lures. Promotional consideration for Outdoor Bound TV is provided by Cozy Corner Cabins. In the La Crosse, Wisconsin area, make sure to check them out. A big thanks to Mike McCormick for some incredible late ice jumbo perch action on the backwaters of the Mississippi River. If you love to catch big perch, give Mike a call. You won't be disappointed. And we hope that you'll join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the U.S., around Canada, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Venom Outdoors, and Vulture Systems. Hey, good morning, everyone. Well, we're here on the Mississippi River. Do you need help getting that one out? Nope. Okay, you're all right. So since the you know storm is still kind of going here, and we got a little bit of wind picking up, I think we may actually opt to throw our otter temp redo.
Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Cold Nation Outdoors and Acme Tackle.